So Sukalji, welcome to UK Pongra Culture. My name is Suki Bas and of course you're watching Brit Asia TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I have a question for you because I have a question for you. 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 तुम इंग्लैंड आए हो थोड़ी बहुत अंग्रेजी सीखो थोड़े काम आऊगी सो सत श्रीकाल भाजी तुम्हें एंड बिग बिग हैलो टू एवरीबडी आर दै हेयर वॉट्स कमिंग अप इन टू डाई शो Hey guys, you know, it's the, the best thing about this show, and I know, I know I keep on saying it, it's when I hear from you, so thank you so much for everybody who's sending the Punjabi translations, who's just sending in the shout-outs into the show. It's always wonderful to hear from you. Send them to culture at britasia.tv. And today's translation actually relates directly to my guest, who I'm going to be speaking to as well. Uh, but before that, a big thank you to Simran. <sighs> Simran, thank you so much for all the wonderful uh, words you've written in here. You said you love the way I speak Punjabi. You said, you know, <laughs> whenever you see me on screen, you know, it, it's absolutely, you know, it's wonderful for a great experience for you. And uh, you're actually, you know, that I'm an inspiration to you. That's so nice, so wonderful. And you said, when I speak Punjabi, it really makes sense and you really, really enjoy that. But then, I want to crash. You want to crash on me or something like that? You want to crash on me or something like that? But no, on a serious note, thank you so much for your wonderful words. Uh, and, uh, but I'm not quite sure whether you're serious or, or, or whatever, okay? But Sastri Kaal, then you both, both, PR Puri. Right, and next one is uh, to Buddh Singh. I love that name, Buddh Singh. When you're a person who's a person, you're a person who's 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 a person. So Buddh Singh Ji, you're a person who's a person who's a person. और तुसी ये क्या कि सत्सरी काल पाजी माय नेम इज बुद्ध सिंह पाजी तो अनुभवी सत्सरी काल साउथ हैम्पटन तो तो अनु कारवाले तो अनु दीपा के इंदिया से दीपा पाजी तो अनु बहुत बहुत सत्सरी काल और तुसी क्या कि तुसी इंडिया नू चार पांच वाली जान्दे हो साल दे विच हो सिंस 1996 तो यार कम नहीं करता इंडिया � to sit here with me and to translate a song. Bud Singh, thank you very much. I'll see if I can, uh, you know, bend a few arms and get you into the studio. But there are both what and Big hello to Indy Gill. Uh, thank you very much, Indy. Sasri Kaal to Anubi. Aaron Aujla to Anubi. Both both Sasri Kaal. And Sade Europe the Vij. Harjinder Singh Kang Italy wale paaji. तो अनुभवी बड़ी प्यार परी सत्कार परी सस्त्रीकाल तो अपने सारे परिवार नो सस्त्रीकाल और तो अनुभव बहुत बहुत बताइए कि तो अपने कार परमात्मा ने एक बेबी बॉय दिता सो तो अनुभव बहुत बहुत बताइए सारे सारे अनुभव लास्ट बट नॉट लीस्ट अ बिग हेलो टू एवीआई जट यू सेड कीप अप द गुड वर्क आई वॉच यू शो एवरी � uh, so thank you very much. And on that note, here's a video.
OK, welcome uh, back to UK Bhangra Culture with me, Suki Bhatt, here on Brit Asia TV. And remember, if somebody doesn't know about UK Bhangra Culture, do tell them. And we've even got, uh, the, the website is up and running now as well. So all you have to type in is BritAsia.tv and have a look at the website. There's lots of different features coming, as well, uh, coming up on the website. So do tune in. Uh, but let's have a look at the top 10 hot albums, according to our production teams. Here's the first five. Here's from 10 to 6. Okay, welcome back after those uh, top albums. Remember, stay tuned to find out which is number one today. So we'll have five to one a little bit later on. But before that, it's, uh, it's a great pleasure to have my guest. And, you know, this is part of the show that I really, truly, truly enjoy. Uh, and I think I know him a little bit better now because I've actually had a chance to chit-chat with him and speak to him. I definitely do enjoy his music. He's one half of Specialist and True School. Uh, please meet Suk. Uh, from True School. Sastri Kaal Baji. Hi, Rimei. Ki Haal Chal Tera? Bhoa Vadiya. Thik Thak Ya? Thik Ya. Raju Kishin Ya? Haan Ji. Acha, Hai Vee. Tusi? Mein Yaar Mein Thik Thak Ya. Actually, Ithe Letta Ne Salle Garmi Bhoa Lag Diya. Yeah. The reason why you know it's better is because we've done this interview before, but like... We have? Okay. We did a few months ago, but yeah, so... That's because we want to put out quality stuff out there, so we weren't happy with those, with that interview. So we thought, you know, we'll get sucked back in here and talk about True School. Tell us about True School. Well, uh, where does the name come from? We try to get specialists in here, but he just won't turn up. But yeah, oh, what's he doing? What's he he's doing? Um, he's a bit camera shy, so is he really? I'm represented specialist and true school. Today. And true school, both parts of it. Because we had DJ H and uh, Jazz and DJ Rags didn't turn up because on the back of uh, who he was, was they? He's, I'm only <laughs> Uh, yeah, on correct. the back of his album, he bought some apartments and he was decorating. Oh. So True School isn't like kind of gone into property dealing. Uh, sorry, specialist hasn't gone into, <laughs> into property dealing. No, 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 he's no, not he, a businessman, is he? No, no, no. He's just uh, he's a hard worker. He works hard. He's. And I suppose with the credit. Some, some secret, secret stuff. It was a secret. What is yeah. it? An agent or? That's right. Yeah, yeah. Is it really? That's it. What a CID? I think we should leave what? it there, now, it? Oh, no, ah, yeah, <laughs> I've always been into this spy stuff. Is he, who's he working for? Yeah, he works for, um, I can't really say, you know, I mean, I'll have to kill you afterwards. No, I don't have to program. I was <laughs> watching my mum on television. Okay, tell us about True School, man from Derby, okay? That's right, mate. Go on then. Um, my name's and when, when did you start into, into music? Music, I've been uh, learning music, I think, since 92. Okay. Late 91, actually. Yeah. Um, until the present day, um, right. I play seven or eight instruments: tabla, tol, ki tol, yeah. tumbi, harmonium, uh, the drums, yeah. al goje, and I play piano as well. Wow, al goje is a is a great instrument, I think. And you know, when you have to do the salt on a banda as well, you know, how hard did you find that when you when when you got into al goje? You know what? That is still a problem for me because I don't play live okay. you know if i'm going to be i'm not going to sit here and lie like a lot of other people do oh right okay yeah um, i'm just going to say we'll that talk about them in yeah a while. <laughs> i'm just going to say that yeah uh, i play in recordings okay as, right. like in our albums the uh, majority of the lagodja pieces have been played by myself that is brilliant Proud to to say. we used to have when i was well, when i was with the Bhangra group Gubru Punjab, we used to have an algoza player in there mm. uh Kapaji, so i think everybody knows him right because mm. he just goes and plays algoza with anybody uh, but he was a great algoza player and it was really interesting the way he kind of and then you breathe through your nose, and you can kind of I take had, it. I, I've, I've tried to learn the breathing thing because yeah. uh, playing for a, a long uh, period is, is a problem for me. And it, that is a very difficult thing to master. Yeah. I, I think so, anyway. So what we used to ask him was, was you used to say, so I okay. was told to do it with a straw and huh. barney and stuff like that. <laughs> That's what they do in India, don't yeah. they? Just blow through the straw, and when the barney kind yeah. of moves, you know you've kind of mastered I'll, it. I will get it soon. Yeah, as it's okay, okay, then it's okay, mm. you know. I, I don't enforce drink and drive, and you shouldn't drink and drive. <laughs> but we used to say, you know, if you can play the algoze and you've had a drink and you get stopped, and when you blow into the bag, would you get away with that because you're kind of inhaling nama nama breath and so the real drink and dry, the real breathalyzer wouldn't catch it? What do you mean? Could that happen? Any Algoza players out there being stopped for drinking and driving, naughty, naughty. You shouldn't do that, drink and drive. But I want to know if you've ever blown into a breathalyzer, police breathalyzer, and you play Algoze, did you get away with it because you could kind of repetitive breathing? 
Anyway, send us your thoughts to culture at BritAsia.tv. Uh, so obviously, last time we were here, it's you know, it really good talking to you, and we, we spoke about your music. But the start of your music was actually from a religious kind of concept, wasn't it? You started learning uh, mm. sort of with the, with the Ghanis and you No, no, no. Uh, yeah, I, oh, right. I started playing the drums first. OK. Because um, I was into hip-hop at the time from the 90s. Right. So from true hip-hop, I've seen, I've seen that come. I was part of that as well. Right. I, I had nothing to do with Bangra or anything. Okay. You know, I was obviously I'm a proud Punjabi, mm. but uh, that came afterwards because I got into Bangra at the same time as right. I was into hip hop, and then right. I got so into it that I just wanted to learn. Because okay, my dad does a percussionist, double out all you don't. So I've been brought up with that. You okay. know, I, I kind of just say I find it funny how yeah, yeah. A, a lot of people I've heard on interviews mm. they say oh, I was brought up with Goldie Manik Shinda. I was brought up in Marnik's shed and I washed his underwear and, and this, that, the other. I just find that really funny because their music doesn't reflect that. Right. You know, I can find that really funny, yeah. but I am genuinely can say that I have been brought up with that, you know, yeah. and it shows in our music. Yeah, you know, in, in, your, in your percussions as well. Um, I mean, you know, let's just kind of like stay on. What's the first Bhangra? What, you know when you said you were in your hip-hop and then you suddenly thought, whoa, is this Bhangra? What's the first thing that you heard? The or which it, first artist did you hear? It's be, well, because... Obviously, before I was born, my old man was blasting Marnik and all that. Anyway, right. uh, I was playing the Dolki Tabla. They used to be lying around the house, you wow. know what I mean? Like, Dolki okay. Tabla there. Yeah. Uh, but then it was weird because my, my other Tatja, you know, they listened to Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones and all this okay. business. So yeah. that was first. But Bangra, I remember it's, I remember Bangra coming in from Alap, Apana mm. and all that. I was more into the Midlands, uh, Apana yeah. Singhit style rather than Hira and all that. Right. I was more into the mid because I felt like they were more. Quite folk orientated. Okay. I felt this. So I, I was, was more. In, I was okay. more into the Midlands yeah. sound, yeah. really. Because because the Afghan singers, singers. Mm. I mean, hopefully, so that everybody won't mind me saying that they are kind of kind of straightforward singers, aren't they? Uh, Bumra and uh, when I say mm. straight, I mean they don't. There's not too much harkat in their singing. No, They're there kind is. of like no, 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 bang. No. You, you reckon? No, there is. If you listen to, if you listen properly, you you can you can hear that they have. They can do a laughs and things, they can't. Because yeah. I was it. talking to Sardar Abadji the other day in a pub, and that's what I love about him. You know, he's mm. such, such a great guy. He was sitting in a pub, and uh, he's hurt his hand. Uh, mm. And I said, Baji, he goes, Sukha Kiddam is short. And I said, Baji, I just short. Mm. He goes, I don't play the vajra. He goes, I don't play the harmonium. Mm. You know, he goes, I don't play the harmonium. But there are some people who are but naturally But he goes, the sur. Yeah. He goes, my dhamag de vich sur hai Yeah, it's true. I mean, I know certain vocalists, or don't, I'm not going to say, but they're also on the same level. Yeah. I, I was shocked when I asked one particular vocalist, who I've been listening to for a long time, really? he, he goes, I don't play the harmonium, and the, the compositions, the Tarja, he comes out with, it's just yeah. shocking. But don't yeah. you think the Tarja comes from the writer, though? The, the writer did not let that he can do but not with not in our case we right. always change it okay. always change it always so if somebody gives the lyrics hmm. so you sit down because we so want tell our, us the process of building the song we want our stamp on it it's like um a uh, like, uh, lot of the writers we know are good for close friends like manjeet singh somebody he's one of our writers from right. derby right. he'll make the song and he'll make the tarj hmm. but he'll he'll say to you can change yeah, it how course, you want. Yeah. So once he's wrote the song, I get the song and I'll make the tarj the way I want it to yeah. sound in the rag that I want it to be in. Or with the vocalist, we'll do it together sometimes. Yeah. And that's usually how we do it. We, we don't use the original tarj from the writer. Okay, so I, how did, in the early years of Specialist and True School, how did you guys come to... Because you've got three albums under your that's name. That's right, yeah, you? yeah. You've got Word is Born, Represent and uh, Raw as Folk. Is That's right, yeah. Yeah, you've got three albums under, under your belt. So how did you guys get together? I mean, obviously, he's from Coventry, you're from, from Derby. Derby. Yeah, we're both the same age. Um, we're, we're both into the same things at the same time. So like mm. I said, I was into hip-hop and all right. that. I'm on about real hip-hop, New York hip-hop. Okay. And he was into that at the same time. And he was playing the drums at the same time in different cities. It's kind of weird. So, right. And he's into this. So when he released his album, Higher Intelligence, I, you know, I felt I thought it was a very good album, and um, a friend of mine, Hodge from Derby, yeah. he knew specialists, so he introduced me to him, and we've just been friends ever since. Right. So we were friends before anything else. Right. And it just kind of took over, and, and you just. Said well, we had so much in common. Like, mm -hmm. We was on a level, really, right. and there's not many people who are into the things that we're into. A lot of people say they're into this and hip hop, but they don't know what hip hop is. They seem to think the stuff in the charts, 50 Cent, and all that is hip hop. That's not right. hip hop. Okay, hold that you know. note. Uh, we're going to go to a short break. I'm speaking to Suk from True School, or Suk is True School, you want to say, and he's going to tell us what hip-hop is all about. But before that, here's a short break.